All right, this is my second video. In the first video, we took apart the gimbal. Now we're going to install my 3D printed parts. These aren't an exact copy of DJI's parts. DJI's parts are aluminum, and so they can do without a little bit of material here. They're, they have stuff cut out to lighten them up. These don't need that. These I can build up, make it a little stronger where it needs to be. Just in general, different because it's plastic. So, anyway, we'll start off with our Allen screw. These are 1.5 millimeter Allen. screw it in there and we will go past just a little few threads into the hole just so we know that all the threads are made and get a better feel for it when we put it together afterwards and the next step we're gonna install this motor feed the line through the slot and we'll start off here, Phillips. Magnetic screwdriver is a must for these. You might get frustrated and just break everything if you don't have one. I know I would. All right. Just get it started. I don't want to tighten it up until we got all three screws in. You don't want to force anything too much. It's going to take a little bit of finagling, but keep an eye for cross threading. You want that screw to go in there straight. If not, you're going to chew up the holes. and That's no good either. It's going a little crooked. There we go. Alright, now that we got all three in, tighten that up. Don't be afraid to snug these down good, but don't strip the tip off your screwdriver either. Now that we got those in, this is pretty important. This is an alignment tool because the straighter you have this when you put it together with that flat, even with that, the straighter your gimbal will be right off the bat when it does its auto calibration when you turn it on. So to help with that, I made this little doohickey. This will slide over the motor and over those little screw holes. It's pretty snug, but we have that there. And then you take your roll arm and hold it flat up against and just give it a little bit of pressure downward. Now if you want, before you pop that on, you could put a little bit of acetone around that inside lip of that plastic and that'll glue it. Um, as it is, without that, it, it, it'll stay. But in a crash, it'll probably pop off. But these things aren't made to crash. All right, so we have that. We have our flat lined up where we need it. All right, now we can start putting boards in it. All right. So you have your roll, and you have your pitch, the pitch has little squiggles on the end of the board, little fingers. Alright, that's not yet. First we struggle with this one. It's no fun at all. 
careful not to pull on this wire too much. We all know the joys of ribbon cables right now. Of course this goes a lot smoother until I'm on video. Make sure that white line goes all the way in just right on the inside edge if you still see the white line then it's not in far enough and flip that little lever down line up our slot with our pot oh, made a rhyme okay that one's done for now this and we're gonna do the same that'll reach just barely once you get this in there white lines all the way in clip it right. I'll line up your motor drop it in we're gonna have to pull these up just a little bit to get that other ribbon cable on there all right Genuine DJI Phantom 3 ribbon cable. And now that I've taken it out of the package, I'm sure I've voided the warranty. This is your camera end. And this one goes here. Now these ones, the line just butts right up to it. I don't know if you can see that there. Alright, latch it, looks straight. And then line your motor back up. Drop it on there. Alright, now. Okay, so back to the Phillips, and we want to use our screws off our sheet of paper.
Make sure to use a decent amount of pressure and just keep your Phillips firmly planted in there. Loctite on these screws already and makes it a little bit tough. We'll get it. Just a little bit. Makes it pretty easy on this sheet having all your screws in the right place already. I wouldn't recommend skipping that step. Same as this motor, I'm going to do the flat in the back, flat towards the main board. And the screw lined up there. Threads into the shaft. And snug it up. Alright. Make sure everything moves freely. No binding. No bent shafts. So you remember, this surface here sticks to that. So, probably should have bent that before. But better late than never. Get it squirreled down in there.
take it down. Stick this here. All right. Now we got our ribbon cable held in there. We'll bend in it. We'll bend in it. Perfect. All right. Now, this is a little bit of a bear. Now maybe we're better off sticking this first. I don't know. Yeah, I'll give it a shot here. Okay. So, loop it around. And probably pull that stick them off of there. You gotta get this looped around, but behind the other. It's just impossible to do. Needs to go around so much. Still going strong, still going strong. Okay. Now. A little bit too far. It jiggled and worked in there. Alright. Now, I'll make sure that your tab is still flipped up. Hmm. i get in there without hurting anything. Kinda, kinda, sorta. There's probably a better way of doing this. There's got to be, because this is... This is ridiculous. There. there we go. Look at that. Pretty straight. Mm, I have my doubts though. I'm gonna, yeah, it's just a little bit crooked yet. Let's see if I can get this in there. Nope. Alright, now yeah, that's straight. And the white line is completely hidden. Alright, now we have to get this. Tucked all the way down there. There we go. There we go. Uh, make sure it's not dragging. It feels pretty good. Stops are working. Alright. Oh, now. 
gonna stick this one. Alright, I'll pull this board off carefully. Try to do a better job of that than I did. And latch that there. Alright. You can see the line is barely in its straight. Oh, we'll get this. Lined up with our motor once more. This needs to line up. Right. right up as tight as you can get it on there. Oops. That all stuck. That all stuck. Alright, now we can put this cover back on. Right. Now these are screwing right into some really thin wall plastic. Point four millimeter thin plastic. So you're gonna want to put a little bit of pressure on this. You got a nice solid feel. And you're just gonna go slow until you feel it bottom out. But be watching for it. It doesn't take a whole lot to hold these in place. But you don't want to go too far. Same on all four, all five screws. Mm -hmm. Alright, not quite bottomed out just yet.
And note that these two screws are a bigger diameter than these three screws. There's only just a hair smaller. Back to your T8 Torx. Well, same with these. Don't don't snug them up till you got them all started. Oh, I'm not gonna start a new video just to fix this here before you put this cover on. This one goes first. Get that collar. And these itty bitty screws. These are machine thread and you're cutting threads into the plastic right now with them so you want to put some decent pressure on there. If you just sit there and lightly spin them then you're just gonna erode the plastic away and not even put any threads in it. So. Don't be afraid to put some pressure on it. snug them down. Now, time for this. All right, you got your flat on your motor. I'm gonna line it up with the flat on here. Get that up. Ribbon cable. You wanna have 
the same bend as the stock one here. I'll just go ahead and put that bend in there a little bit now. Alright. So, the motor dropped on. pads are super tiny on this ribbon cable so being straight is gonna be a big deal get them in there and look at your wire your, your lines on there make sure they're all the way in and flip the little levers down. All right. Now, I'm gonna take this bearing out of here. And use it to line up this part. tell where this needs to go if you drop your bearing in there and then slide it to the end with your finger and then just get in there and tighten it up and again we're just gonna snug it up you'll feel it you don't need to go very far that's tight the stock arm doesn't have a flat because you can't do that in machining very easy. You can do it pretty easy on 3D printing though. So that set screw doesn't really have to do much work at all. All right. Just slide that up in there. Drop it over the bearing. And line up there. Now, Now, you have a working gimbal again, as long as nothing was broken in the crash, nothing electronic, have your stops yet. Alright, well, that's our video, have fun with it.